we shall commence this module by studying allotment of share. Allotment means distribution of share among those who have submitted written application. Issued shares is a term of law and finance for the quantity of shares of a corporation which have been allocated, allotted and are subsequently held by shareholders. The act of creating new issued shares is called issuance, allocation or allotment. Allotment is simply the creation of shares and their transfer to a subscriber. After allotment, a subscriber becomes a shareholder. The number of issued shares is a subset of the total authorized shares. It is that amount which the board of directors and or shareholders have agreed to allocate. After studying this module, you shall be able to allotment of share, condition of allotment of share, procedures of allotment by private companies, procedures of allotment by public companies, penalty for not timely allotment of shares. We will now discuss the allotment of shares, fulfillment of statutory conditions which need to be fulfilled. The company secretary has to see that the statutory conditions regarding the allotment of shares are fulfilled before the board proceeds to allot the shares, valid offer and acceptance. There should be a valid offer and acceptance for the allotment to be a valid one. Here, the company is the offertory and the acceptors are the general public. If there is no company to offer, then there would not be any public to accept. Unconditional allotment. The allotment must be absolute and unconditional and also as per the terms and conditions mentioned in the application. The allotment should be unbiased and not according to the caste, creed and religion. It is not that rich shareholders may pay more on the shares and the poor shareholders pay less on the shares. All have to pay the same price on the shares. Next, collection of minimum subscription amount. The minimum subscription amount as noted in the prospectus has been received within 120 days of the issue of prospectus. Next, receipt of application money. Not less than 5% of the nominal value of the share has been secured and has been received along with the applications. Next, deposition of application of money in a scheduled bank. All application money received along with the applications must be deposited in a scheduled bank. It cannot be withdrawn until the company gets trading certificate or where such certificate is already received or till the minimum subscription amount is received. Next, filing of prospectus with the registrar. A copy of the prospectus or statement in lieu of prospectus has been duly filed with the registrar and at least three days have elapsed after such filing before the allotment is taken up. Next, time of allotment. No allotment of shares can be effected until the beginning of the fifth day from the date of issue of prospectus. The subscription list must be opened for at least three days as disclosed in the prospectus. Next, proper communication. The allotment must be duly communicated to the applicant through post, that is registered post with necessary details. Next, allotment strictly as per documents issued. The board of directors have to make the allotment of shares strictly as per the documents issued which include the prospectors and the application form. The provisions made in the memorandum of association and the articles of association must also be given due consideration. Next, SEBI nominee. If the issue is oversubscribed, the shares are allotted on a proportionate basis. SEBI's nominee is associated while finalizing the basis of allotment. The purpose is to see that the allotment is done on a fair and just basis. The allotment 
also needs to be approved by a leading stock exchange. Next, appointment of allotment committee. The secretary informs the board that the share applications are received and are ready for allotment. If the issue is just subscribed or undersubscribed, the board will do the allotment of shares. But if the issue is oversubscribed, the board appoints an allotment committee to do the allotment work. The allotment committee will study the problem, prepare a report and sub it to the board. We shall now understand the condition of allotment of share. Section 39 of the Act prohibits allotment of securities where the minimum amount as stated in the prospectus has not been subscribed. The section further provides that for refund within a given time frame. It provides that all of the minimum amount must be received within a period of 30 days from the date of issue of the prospectus or such other period as may be specified by the Securities and Exchange Board. If minimum subscription remains unsubscribed, it shall be returned within such time and manner as may be prescribed. The rules provide that where the stated minimum amount has not been subscribed and the sum payable on application is not received within the period specified therein, then the application money shall be repaid within a period of 15 days from the closure of the issue. And if any such money is not so repaid within such period, the directors of the company who are officers in default shall jointly and severely be liable to repay that money with interest at the rate of 15% per annum. The application money to be refunded shall be credited only to the bank account from which the subscription was remitted. The section provides that the minimum amount of every security shall not be less than 5% of the nominal amount of the security or such other percentage or amount as may be specified by the Securities and Exchange Board by making regulations in this behalf. A company having a share capital makes any allotment of securities shall file with the registrar a return of allotment in such prescribed manner. The rules provide that whenever a company having a share capital makes any allotment of its securities, the company shall within 30 days thereafter file with the registrar a return of allotment in form PAS3 along with the fee as specified in the company's registration offices and fees rules 2014. The rules further provide for the attachments to form PS3 that is return of allotment as under. First, a list of allottees stating their names, address, occupation if any and number of securities allotted to each of the allottees. Second, the list shall be certified by the signatory of the form PAS3 being complete and correct as per the records of the company. Third, in the case of securities not being bonus shares allotted as fully or partly paid up for consideration other than cash. There shall be attached to the form PAS3 a copy of the contract being duly stamped pursuant to which the securities have been allotted together with any contract of sale if relating to a property or an asset or a contract for services or other consideration. Fourth, a report of a registered valuer in respect of valuation of the consideration other than cash shall also be attached along with the copy of the contract. Fifth, in the case of issue of bonus shares, a copy of the resolution authorizing the issue of such shares shall be attached to the form PAS3. Sixth, all money received on application from the public for subscription to the securities shall be kept in separate bank account in a scheduled bank. Such money can be utilized only for the following two purposes. A. For adjustment against allotment of securities where the securities have been permitted listing. Or B. 
for the repayment of monies within the time specified by the Securities and Exchange Board received from applicants in pursuance of the prospectus, where the company is for any other reason unable to allot securities. We shall move on to discuss the procedures of allotment of shares. First, in case an issuer company makes an issue of 100% of the net offer to public through 100% book building process. A. Not less than 35% of the net offer to the public shall be available for allocation to retail individual investors. B. Not less than 463 15% of the net offer to the public shall be available for allocation to non-institutional investors that is investors other than retail individual investors and qualified institutional buyers. C. Not more than 50% of the net offer to the public shall be available for allocation to qualified institutional buyers. In case an issuer company makes an issue of 75% of the net offer to public through book building process and 25% at the price determined through book building. A. In the book built portion, not less than 25% of the net offer to the public shall be available for allocation to non-qualified institutional buyers and not more than 50% of the net offer to the public shall be available for allocation to qualified institutional buyers. B. The balance 25% of the net offer to the public offered at a price determined through book building shall be available only to retail individual investors who have either not participated or have not received any allocation in the book built portion. First, allotment to retail individual investors, non-institutional investors and qualified institutional buyers shall be made proportionately as illustrated in Schedule 18th. Next, the broker shall refund the margin money collected earlier within three days of receipt of basis of allocation to the applicants who did not receive allocation. Next, allocation shall be made not later than 15 days from the closure of the issue, failing which interest at the rate of 15% shall be paid to the investors. On payment and receipt of the sum payable on application for the amount towards minimum subscription, the company shall allot the shares to the applicants as per these guidelines. First, in case the issuer company has made an issue of 75% of the net offer to public through book building process and 25% at the price determined through book building. A. The offer of 25% of the net offer to the public made at a price determined through book building shall open within 15 days from the date of closure of bidding. B. The offer for subscription to the public shall remain open for a period of at least 3 working days after completing all the requirements of advertisement and dispatch of issue material to all the stock exchanges. C. During the time when the offer is open, the investors who have received an intimation of entitlement of securities under subclause 18 of clause 11.3.1 shall submit the application form along with the application monies. The other retail individual investors who had not participated in the bidding process or have not received intimation of entitlement of securities under subclause 18th of clause 11.3.1 may also make an application. We now understand the penalty for not timely allotment of shares. Time limit for allotment of securities under the New Companies Act 2013. Under the New Companies Act, section 62 and 42 and rule 13 of companies, share capital and debentures rules 2014 deals with issue of shares on preferential basis. Rule 13 prescribes that any such issue on preferential basis has to comply with conditions laid down in section 42 of the Companies Act 2013. Section 42 subsection 6 
further provides that a company making an offer or invitation under this section shall allot its securities within 60 days from the date of receipt of the application money for such securities and if the company is not able to allot the securities within that period, it shall repay the application money to the subscribers within 15 days from the date of completion of 60 days and if the company fails to repay the application money within the aforesaid period, it will be liable to repay that money with interest at the rate of 12% per annum from the expiry or the 60th day. Provided that money is received on application under this section shall be kept in a separate bank account in a scheduled bank and shall not be utilized for any purpose other than a for adjustment against allotment of securities or b for the repayment of monies where the company is unable to allot securities. Now we shall recapitulate what we have learned so far. Allotment means distribution of shares among those who have submitted written application. If the issue is oversubscribed, the shares are allotted on a proportionate basis. Section 39 of the Act prohibits allotment of securities where the minimum amount as stated in the prospectus has not been subscribed. The section further provides that for refund within a given time frame. It provides that all of the minimum amount must be received within a period of 30 days from the date of issue of the prospectus or such other period as may be specified by the Securities and Exchange Board. If minimum subscription remains unsubscribed, it shall be returned within such time and manner as may be prescribed.